hello guys welcome uh today i'm with houston and Aust yeah austin yeah <laughs> and nairobi tours definitely uh we've been here f how long have we been together like now this our third day since tuesday yeah, two since days tuesday, yeah. and now we're in gong road for a sanctuary and now we just here yeah, coming to just even take a part and look at it because you know uh when the founders in the 1900s you know started these it was a bit like you know conserving the areas that have been taken in Nairobi but now you know somehow they started grabbing it and it was a hard hassle between you know the people who want to conserve the forest and the other people you know who are like taking up the species so people like Wangari Madai like had an impact you know even like you know securing the places and now people are starting to you know reclaim the forest back and plant a lot of trees as well so I hope you're gonna have a nice time today <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you heard the man we are out here we're going on a walk today I'm showing you guys another part of Nairobi that you can come see whenever you come out this way if you have not already make sure you click the like button subscribe and leave a comment on what you'd like to see next all right let's go now we're starting the tour yeah Okay. It's gonna be my cardio for today. Yeah. Which way you wanna go? Alright, so we're headed to the five kilometer uh, trail. It smells very fresh and very natural out here, as you can see. It's untouched land pretty much for the most part. So if you enjoy the nature and all that kind of aspect of life, this is definitely a place I come to. It's my bad. <laughs> Guys, I really had to buy a GoPro now because trying to record this with one hand while I ride is making it really, really hard. I can't ride the bike the way I want to, but I'm making it work. Oh, yeah. We had. Ah, shit! <laughs> Let me get the out of here. There's like literally like 10,000 ants. All right, let me get out of here. I don't have time to get ate up. Literally, there's so many ants. I put my foot on the ground and four got on my shoe instantly. I don't know why I didn't do all this the first time I came here. I said, I don't know why I didn't do all this the first time. Well, actually, I wouldn't have wanted to. It would have been too cold. I was here last in July. Uh -huh. Ambia was something like this. Uh -huh. Something that I would go for the nature and like to see animals and stuff like that. Uh, definitely not a place to hang out. Uh, definitely like not like a lot of hooking up or nothing like that. Uh, definitely not a lot of <laughs> not a lot of women like not like Nairobi. Yeah, no, it's not like Nairobi when it comes to women. So. If you go down there, I would go with somebody with intent on just exploring. Rwanda was like that too. Well, Rwanda had a lot of women. They just weren't outside. Yeah. Good question. I don't know where to find them. They said go to church. I'm not going to church with the specific intent to meet women. That's, they call that corruption. No, I'm actually not religious at all. Uh, my family is Baptist, but I think uh, well, I ain't gonna get too religious because it's gonna be on my vlog. Uh, well, I'm just not religious because it's uh, some. A lot of times it could be corrupt. I feel like God is just the unknown. So you feel like that? I feel like that. I feel like for things we can't explain, we use the word God to to feel the reason why things are the way they are. I think humans thought that thousands of years ago and then they came up with the concept of God. <laughs> you know? Because they can't, nobody can actually explain how everything got here. So they claim that there was a God that did it. Or maybe, like a lot of people believe, maybe there was an alien that uh, was here thousands of millions of years ago. And those people back then experienced something that we don't. Especially when you look at the <laughs> the ancient architecture around the world uh -huh. and how they're all related to each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even though the, it was too long ago for those people to know each other yeah yeah i mean it makes most sense to me uh 
but I always think there's somewhere, somehow, something started. You know? Yeah, well, I definitely believe that there's something out there, right? Because yeah. the whole energy thing and the, the negative and positive, the shit is real. Uh, and it does feel like when you do more positive things, mm -hmm. uh, even when negative things come your way, they still turn out to be positive. Mm -hmm. And I've had that happen for me a lot. Really? Yeah, yeah he said that, that there's small deer in this forest, so we're gonna see if we can come across some. He also said that meteors too. But you can see there's a lot of moss and algae. I don't know if that's algae, but moss or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's stuff growing on the tree. Yeah, I think moss is, I mean, moss is for land and algae is for water. Yeah. I tried that old sea moss thing. Honestly, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> I tried it and there's like this older guy I knew. I used to cut his hair. And he's like, man, I can feel my blood veins dilating. <laughs> I took that, I didn't feel none of that shit. And I was like, I don't know what y'all are talking about. Sea moss in Nairobi too? He said, there's nothing you can't get in Nairobi. Yeah. And that's what I'm here to show y'all. Bumped into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very inexpensive way to enjoy Nairobi. The bikes were only about $7 to rent one bike. So I guess if you're gonna go on a bike date, it'd only be like $14. Um, and it's a short distance from where I stay at. It was probably like 20 minutes from where I stay at. So it's still in the city. the ants I was talking about and you can see they go all the way back there so they're about a thousand yeah, I couldn't imagine being one of the first humans that had to live in the forest at first <laughs> and then had to sleep with ants crawling all around them we are approaching goats and cows But here it has like a strong mint smell to it. Yeah. All right, so now we're going down a slope <laughs> that's causing us to slip and slide and almost fall off the bike a few times. So we're getting closer to a river. I think I can hear it as we're approaching. Bike right here. So this is the river, uh, but it looks like it needs some more rainfall. It's more water off this way. Go through that, I go through there and show y'all. Say order right. <laughs> uh, we'll go for someone to wipe it for you. Yeah. On the road. <laughs> At least he didn't get on my socks. Yeah. Because that would have made it uncomfortable. That's how much I care about getting content for y'all. I damn near fell in the quick mud. Not quick saying quick mud. But you guys, we made it towards the end of the trail. Uh, it was very relaxing, very good exercise, very good cardio. Uh, definitely something I would do once a week for sure. I definitely do this more often. So we're headed back out and then we're about to go try some Swahili food after this. After I get these shoes wiped, I guess we're going to try Swahili food and then y'all keep watching. Make sure you subscribe. All right, y'all. So we're waiting on the Uber. Uh, we're about to go to this place called Mangrove, a Swahili restaurant in Karen. And uh, we're going to let him sh show me what, what do I need to taste when I come to Kenya? What's most important? So now we're at the place, the Swahili restaurant. It looks pretty nice already so far. It looks like it'll be a vibe at nighttime here, but it's got a downstairs and an upstairs. You know, look who we have. Upstairs might be better. What is the most Swahili Kenyan food you think I should try? Uh, that's um, I guess biryani. Have you had the biryani? Show me. Yeah, uh, biryani. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, oh, it is yeah. Biryani beef chicken. What is biryani? It's like uh, it's like pilau, but then with a bit of curry, something like a curry. I'll so, do that. Yeah. yeah. 
So coconut have, beans. Yeah, there's even coconut beans as well. I yeah. do both of those. And there's prawns curry as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll try that biryani. Oh, okay. The biryani chicken. Beef chicken. Yeah. Okay, good. That's nice. All right, so we got my food. We're gonna order one more coffee to let's try it. So I know whenever I was in Tanzania and I was eating with Elvis, he had me, he showed me how to eat, that they eat this really with their hands. Uh, I don't think I'd be doing that today. Uh, but uh, even though I wash my hands, but I know that you mix all this up together. And uh, the sauce, I'm not, I don't like that salsa, so I won't do that. But you even get a banana. They brought a banana, and you, it adds like a very sweet taste to the rest of the food. So this rice has that cinnamon taste to it too, and the chicken has like a tomato taste to it as well. I'm having some coconut beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what you're having, actually, the biryani. Mm -hmm. so, the coconut beans are really nice. Would you want to try them? No. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He's like, more for me. <laughs> so they brought tamarind juice. Yeah, uh, it's cold. Yeah. He said that you have to have it with every Swahili yeah. meal, so we're going to try it. Yeah. Tastes like tamarind. Yeah. <laughs> but it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. What is it good for? The tamarind? good for like general health but you guys so that food was absolutely delicious we are about to head to the junction mall so you guys can see how they did the shoes because i know a lot of y'all had so much to say about it. oh you got ripped off so we're gonna see if i got ripped off or not all right you guys so we're at junction mall now uh, about to go inside and pick up the shoes and the moment is finally coming to see how they did because y'all are so anxious and so worried about how much they charge me. So we're gonna find out. Well, I think that they did better than y'all claim. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so they exceeded my expectations. Uh, you remember y'all said, oh, $70, that costs too much. Well, number one, these shoes cost more a lot more than seventy dollars like with seventy dollars wouldn't even get a quarter of what i paid for the shoe brand new but it looks brand new because they did they redid the entire sole the heel and they added more cushioning on the inside carpeting is what she called it and they even redid the stitching on the side right here so if you ask me it's worth it uh you don't have to redo the soles often but learn about dress shoes you can't these are not $20 dress shoes and not $30 dress shoes. I paid good money for these shoes, so. All right, so now we're about to get these shoes clean that I got in the mud for y'all. Honestly, these can just be wiped down really quick, but they really need to go in the washing machine. All right, y'all, so I got the shoes clean for about $150. I'm gonna put on the screen how much it is. That's about a dollar. Brand new, right out of the box. All right, you guys, we're at Skate City now, and they put me in the girl shoes. They only have girl shoes in this size, so it's got me with a sexy look, and I'm uh, three feet taller, it feels like. Would I have had more success in the States if I was really this tall? All right, I'm getting a little better at it. She told me to bend my knees.
Thank you for watching the video until the end. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that song at the end. I, I think that song was a vibe. But yeah, it was very fun going to eat the Swahili food, going on the bike ride, and doing this uh, roller skating afterwards. And guys, there's a lot of girls that work at that roller skating place. Make sure you go there. It's called Skate City whenever you get here. Also, today I have a couple dates lined up. Uh, so, oh shit, I didn't mean to say that. Also, I have some things lined up. I give some of my subscribers a bone. Uh, so you guys can see some more women because in Nairobi it's so many women It's easier to get women in the videos here than it is in the other places So make sure you subscribe so you can see that get a video like leave a comment on what you thought what you'd like to see next Also subscribe to the members only if you would like to know how I was extorted recently. Thanks for watching